you I are my man. I disliked it intensely when she snapped her fingers at us. That's when I thought, don't snap your fingers at me, lady. <laughs> Quite a party out here going on five hours now. In fact, the papers came out not too long ago. They've been passing them out to all the fans. You can hear the music behind I thought behind. that we had uh, really destroyed their case very effectively on cross-examination, and I thought we had called a lot of very effective witnesses in our case. And I thought when you put that whole package together, they were going to have trouble. The problem in this case was the mother and the complaining witness. They were both self-admitted liars. Once Maybe we're just looking for explanations in the wrong places. The I don't jury, know. despite being inundated by media, despite the fact they were not sequestered, despite the fact there were questionable rulings by the judge, this jury said the evidence wasn't there and they acquitted him. I think this is good for Would America. Would it be safe to say you did not believe him? Yes, we had a hard time believing We, as a country, have to understand that our system presumes someone innocent until proven guilty, and that proof was not made here. I can't say there was anything that convinced me to say guilty ever throughout the whole trial. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted and very happy for Michael. Not only did he get to not guilty today, but this should take care of all the doubt in the black cloud that has been over him. And this, uh, love what is 1108? That vindicates him from all of this. Stuff. They saw the color drain from your face, both for you, Mr. Senan, and you, Mr. Zonin. We had to look at him as just like any other individual, not just as a celebrity. If you really looked at the evidence in the case, they had nothing. They had absolutely nothing. And networks like Court TV did their best to spin uh, a conviction. I had no doubt whatsoever Michael will be acquitted on all the charges. Neither did Michael from the very beginning. This is not, this is history. It's, it's over with. Let's just let it go. The jury acquitted Michael. We're still talking about all of the allegations as if they, in fact, were proven. Quote, thank God Michael is vindicated for all time. Now maybe people will leave him alone. I wouldn't want any of my children to lie for their own gain. Oh, I think their case had too many problems with it because it wasn't true. I, f I felt that he was vindicated, you know. Um, the man is not a child molester. I think the jury did a, a very good job in terms of taking this very seriously, taking a lot of notes, um, evaluating the evidence, uh, leaving no stone unturned. A like or not like their decision, these were honorable people. Michael Jackson is not just free on bail. Michael Jackson is free now that he's been acquitted on all of ten of the counts. The accuser's mother could not be believed, and her kids who accused Jackson of child molestation could not be trusted either. Jackson motorcade is pulling up uh, along a, uh, a gauntlet, if you will, of uh, Jackson supporters who gathered outside his Neverland ranch. Uh, he is arriving at the entrance to that sprawling 3,000 uh, acre facility, uh, which includes, of course, the amusement park and the uh, Homes. It is a, a, a extraordinarily large uh, uh, property, a well, state, if you, you will. You know, when I saw the the DA Tom Stedden today, the ultimate loser. I mean, you really can't lose more than My he did today. My past history of Mr. Jackson had absolutely, unequivocally, <laughs> nothing to do with our evaluation of this particular. And we've case. indicated and cleared Michael Jackson completely. He was acquitted of all felony counts and all misdemeanor counts. They got nothing. <laughs> And acquitted of all the charges um, against him. He's someone else, just like anyone else, who deserves a fair trial. You just can't build a case on a foundation as weak as these. These, these witnesses lack utter credibility. I think it's a great day for the system. I think the system worked, and reasonable doubt means something, and these jurors understood that. I have a lot of faith in the system. All right, this is the moment those fans have waited for. They have come to this courthouse and passing these out to the people that have assembled here and people are still coming not too much of a surprise the party has begun here so there was a lot of discrepancies in his testimony and it didn't quite uh, coincide with what he had said so a lot of this was spin by the prosecution because they wanted to try and convict him through spin they had nothing to, to deal with in the court I think that this was a, a, a smart jury I think that uh, you know they they 
were diligent and, and, and wanting to do a good job. This was a grifter family with a, with a, with a record that was so checkered it was pathetic. Right. It was sickening. They, this was a setup. It never would have been brought if it was in any other county. Tom Stedden has had this grudge for 13 I years. I talked with Tom Mesereau, who told me that he was proud to have defended Michael Jackson, that Jackson was innocent all along, and he was just proud to prove Come it. Come down here and check my life. See what I've been doing the last 10 years. The decision is whether to present this piece of garbage called the People versus Michael Jackson to a grand jury. It was presented, and the state paid the we price. We had a closet full of evidence. There was nothing in that closet that was able to convince any of us of the alleged crimes. The factual inaccuracies, um, the obvious bias uh, among people like Court TV, who I felt was really an arm of the prosecution through this case, um, it was very amateurish and very unprofessional and very disturbing. And he failed. Tom Sneddon should be impeached. Tom Stedden has wasted, he has squandered the money why? of the people. How many real criminals have gotten off during the time that okay, he has why, been why after why Michael Jackson in this witch house? How many, how many Hello, violent Sean, felons have answer? gotten off? You heard yesterday the words that no prosecutor ever wants to hear. Uh -huh. And you heard them ten times. Uh -huh. Not guilty, not guilty. Uh -huh. You wake up to this headline this morning. Uh -huh. Nothing. What's I went it? in there with the courage to convict a celebrity because I, I really believe in doing what's right. And witness after witness, I was more convinced of the innocence because of the motivations of financial gain and revenge. It was just amazing the way it was we laid Australia out. Australia at one point in the mid-90s to try and find an alleged victim. And the person said, take a hike, get out of here, you know. Mm -hmm. He uh, had a website at the sheriff's department to try and see if he could find witnesses to build a case. It was like an open casting call on Michael Jackson. And the best they could come up with was this family that we thoroughly discredited from yeah. AZ. From I mean, I mean, NASA Grace, he's guilty. O'Reilly, he's guilty. Those who are competing for, for making their, their, the newsroom case for Michael determined by Empress or Inya Endo by you know, he Jurors, was uh, race, no race, it doesn't matter. They all seem to do the right job. Uh, and uh, once again, that's proven this out. This is a non-African American jury. Right. No one can look back and say that this was another O.J. racially right. motivated verdict. He's no a way. very, very honorable, decent person, and I thoroughly enjoyed representing him, and I consider him a friend. Michael, Joseph, Catherine, and the family, and Tom Mesro and his staff, and I, and a lot of other people believed from day one that Michael would be acquitted across the board. I was convinced all along the jury would find him not guilty. I thought the prosecution's case was really ridiculous, and I thought they went to every absurd length they could to try and make something out of nothing. She looked at me and snapped her fingers a few times, and she says, you know how our culture is, and winks at me. I thought, no, that's not the way our culture is. So. Yeah, man, she is. The cars are now lined up a mile down this road. People are walking in. They're running in. We've seen flowers this delivered. This is a case that smelled bad, and if it smells like you know what, then it is you know what, and that's what the jury said. Take, take court TV, for example. In this particular case, in my opinion they became a tabloid. They had their own agenda, they misstated the facts, they didn't understand the significance of what was going on in the courtroom and that's why their major critics were stunned by the verdict. Justice has finally deserved and Mike's a free man. Uh, I could not be more impressed with this jury. Uh, clearly they did follow the judge's instructions. Said, uh, he thought it happened three times. Uh, no, it happened four times, and then, no, I, I think it happened once in the library, so that would have been five times. And then at the end of it, he says, no, he really never touched me at all. The jurors were extremely conscientious. I thought they were thoughtful, measured in their approach. I mean, in many ways, they're the model jury system, and in, this is one occasion when I personally felt I was glad the world was watching to see uh, how hard these jurors Santa Maria to Times, an extra... Not guilty on all counts. Newsday, Michael Moonwalk. Michael Jackson acquitted child molestation, other charges. Jurors, case wasn't there. You, you saw it, Boston earlier. Herald, like this headline, too. Beat uh, it. Chicago Sun-Times, straight ahead headline, not guilty. You know, it'd, be, it'd be nice if every client was as nice and comfortable to deal with as Michael Jackson. Believe me, he's a very down-to-earth, nice, kind-hearted person. He turned, he hugged uh, each of his attorneys. Uh, at that time, and of course his family at that point, we're all hugging each other. Michael now. is uh, free. He's free like a bird, and uh, he's always been innocent of all this. I'm ecstatic. It has been pure hell, Anderson. You just would not believe. 
He's a very, very kind, extremely sensitive, intuitive, very generous individual.